problem 15, 10 x to the ninth power over 8 times 2 over 15 x cubed. My first step will be to see if I can simplify anything. 2 and 8 are both divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 and 15 are both divisible by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 and 4 are both divisible by 2, so my 2 cancels out to become 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now I'm going to rewrite what I'm left with. x to the ninth power over 2 times 1 over 3 x cubed x to the ninth power times 1 2 times 3 is 6 now I have the same base of x so I can subtract my exponents since when you're dividing the exponents get subtracted so 9 minus 3 is 6 so this will become x to the sixth power and that's 1 over 6 times that. This can be rewritten as x to the 6th power over 6. Looking at the selections they give you, this is the same as letter E. Problem 16, 4 over 3x to the 7th power divided by x minus 2 over 9x to the 5th power. My first step will be to rewrite the problem. Since I'm dividing fractions, I will multiply by the reciprocal. That will be 9x to the fifth power over x minus 2. Now see what I can simplify. 3 and 9 are both divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. I have the same base of x here so I can subtract my exponents. This will be x to the fifth power minus seven. That will give me x to the negative second power. And when you have a negative power, it's the same as one over the power to make it positive. So we'll take this one over x squared times four times three is 12 and then 1 over. All this can be rewritten as 12 over x squared times x minus 2. Distribute this. I have the same base of x, and this is the same as x to the first power, so I'm going to add my exponents. 2 plus 1 is 3. So this becomes x cubed. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Just carry the 12 down. So my answer is 12 over x cubed minus 2x squared. Looking at the selections, this is the same as letter C. Problem 18 x plus 7 times x plus 3. Anytime I am multiplying two polynomials, I use something called FOIL. It stands for first, outside, inside, last. You'll start by multiplying the first numbers together. So x times x that will become x squared since you have the same base. It's the same as x to the first power. Same base, add the exponents. 1 plus 1 is 2. So x times x becomes x squared. Multiplying the outside numbers, and the outside numbers are x and 3. So x times 3 is 3x. Three Now the inside numbers are 7 and x. That becomes 7x. 
Now the last numbers, 7 times 3, which is 21. Now I'll combine like numbers. This 3x plus 7x becomes 10x. Just carry down the rest of the numbers. So my final answer is x squared plus 10x plus 21. Looking at the selections, that's the same as letter B. Problem 19, x minus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1. My first step will be to rewrite the problem. With my subtraction sign, I don't want to confuse my signs. So x minus 2 becomes x plus negative 2. And x squared minus 2x plus 1 becomes x squared plus negative 2x plus 1. I can't use FOIL because I have three numbers in this parentheses, and FOIL only works when you have two numbers in each parentheses. So I'm going to take x times each number here, and then negative 2 times each number. And I'm going to write this out long to make sure that I get all my numbers multiplied. So I'll take x times x squared, x times negative 2x, x times 1. Now take negative 2 times each number. You'll get negative 2 times x squared, negative 2 times negative 2x, negative 2 times 1. Now simplify. x times x squared. I have the same base of x, so you add the exponents. This is the same as x to the first power. 1 plus 2 is 3. So this becomes x cubed. x times negative 2x. Again, the same base of x. This is the same as x to the first power. Add the exponents. 1 plus 1 is 2. So you have negative 2x squared. x times 1 is x. Negative 2 times x squared negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Keep the x. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Now combine like terms. This is the only x to the third power I have, so carry that down. I have a negative 2x squared and a negative 2x squared. Negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. I have x and a 4x. This is the same as 1. So 1 plus 4 is 5. So this becomes 5x. So my answer is x cubed plus negative 4x squared plus 5x plus negative 2. And this is the same is letter C. Problem 20, 1 over 5y to the fourth power plus 2 over y cubed. Since I'm adding fractions, I'm going to need a common denominator. I'll need y to the fourth power, so I'll have to multiply y over y, and then I'll also need a 5, so I'll multiply 5y over 5y to this side. 2 times 5y is going to be 10y because 2 times 5 is 10. y to the third power times y to the first power will be the same base, so add the exponents. 3 plus 1 is 4. Just carry this down. This can also be rewritten like this. And this is the same 
is letter A. Problem 21, 2x plus 3 over x to the fourth power minus x plus 2 over x cubed. Again, we need a common denominator since we are subtracting fractions. We know that multiplying x times x cubed will give us x to the fourth since you add the exponents of the common base x. For the numerator, you will have x times x plus 2. Carry this down. Distribute this out. x times x will be x squared, since you have the same base x, just add the numerators. 1 plus 1 is 2. x times 2 is 2x. Now I have a subtraction sign, and I don't want to confuse the signs when I'm combining. So I'll just take negative 1 times everything here. That gives me negative x, and then negative 1 times negative 2x is negative 2x. Everything stays over that x to the fourth power denominator. Carry this down. Now I can combine like terms in the numerator. I only have 1x squared, so that will remain negative x squared. I have a 2x and a negative 2x. They will cancel out. I only have one whole number, so 3 remains the same. This is all over that common denominator of x to the fourth power. So I'm left with negative x squared plus 3 over x to the fourth power. Looking at the selections, this is the same as letter D.